So, the current missile defense system kind of bothers me. Um, there's a strong implication of... Oh, hell. Okay, I recall... Okay, so I recall that you can steal multiple frigates here, uh, if you're clever about it. Uh, I probably should not have sold off my last salvage corvette. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I need at least two. Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to be able to steal multiple uh, assault frigates here. If I want to... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, boy. Um, okay. So this is going badly. This is one of those things where if I had known in the previous mission that I was going to need salvage corvettes immediately in this mission, I could have been a little more judicious. Well, let's face it. There are a bunch of ways that I could have made the last mission go better, and unfortunately 100,000 of my... Kushan friends are now dead. And probably we're going to lose another 100,000. Uh, because I made a bad choice. And I'm going to try not to think too hard about that. The population of a relatively large city going away. Every time one of those blows up. Come on, stop shooting at the cryo trays. Shoot at my... Shoot at my Corvettes, darn it. One sandwich Corvette. Oh, this is bad. This is. Oh. Oh, God. God look at Karak. Yeah, like I was saying, the Karak missile defense system never really made a whole lot of sense to me. Just because it's like the Karak. Uh, or the Kushan, rather, didn't know that there was anybody out there to really mess them up uh, until this happens. Oh, there goes another chunk of the surviving car population. Um, okay, come on, guys. I need you to... I need you to be salvage corvettes. Um, how's group three doing here? Oh, we're down to only two Corvettes. Oh, come on, guys. We're going to lose another platform. I'm 
just blow up this guy. Just blow that guy up. Oh no. I, mean, I think that they. Oh jeez. It's fully half of the cryo stored. Kusan are now gone. Because I couldn't. Because I was getting greedy with uh, the enemy carrier. Uh, oh gee, I hope that they don't. Uh, let's build another salvage corvette in case one of those gets blown away. Oh boy. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're not in very good shape, buddy. You're burning about as much as the frigate you're carrying is. Oh boy. Wait, where's that? Where are those shots coming from? Is there another enemy force? In what? Wait, is the mothership shooting at this thing? Guys, I got it under control. Okay, yeah, you dock up. You and you. See if you can capture that thing before. Before the Corvettes get it. Okay, group three, dock up. I get. Oh, man, this is not going well. That's the scaffold we launched from. That's a pair of salvage corvettes. Oh. And that is a wing of enemy fighters. That's... That's the Karak Missile Defense System firing back. That's what they're getting hit by, or what the attackers are getting hit by. Ugh. And that's the scaffold being blown up. So these guys just swooped out of the night and dropped atmospheric weapons. So if I remember properly, it's uh, it's 
It's really hard to save all six cryo trays, but it's pretty easy to save five of them. And I have just been a horrible savior of uh, of the Kushan people here, in that I was only able to save three of these hundred thousand person cryo trays. I do not feel very good about that. What are we looking at from a resource collecting perspective here? Uh, there's a lot of resources still here. Should probably rebuild those collectors because I want to get everything that I can. Oh, hey, I can build a resource controller now. That's the capital ship bay on the mothership there that they're loading the cryo trays into. Resource collector complete. Resource collector complete. Call the train loaded. Three hundred thousand loaded and secure. Cryo trays loaded and secure. Hyperspace module charged. There's nothing left for us here. There's nothing left for us here. Let's go. So yeah, that's uh, that's rough. So yeah, that's three hundred thousand people out of the entire civilization. That's what, 300,000 people is... I mean, I live in a city of 80,000. 300,000 people is like Tampa. Or uh, like St. Louis or something like that. To be a little <laughs> Americentric here. You know, it's, it's not a whole heck of a lot of people to uh, have a civilization with. Although, I guess... I'm not sure if they ever tell us how many people live or well lived on Carrick at the time it was destroyed. Yeah, I'm not sure that I want to initiate docking. In Homeworld 2, I think they gave you the option to just uh, when you dock, strip mine the system and leave in Homeworld, I believe that I have to manually make the, uh, manually mine out all of these areas. Although I think that I'm getting there. I think that there's not too, too much left. Yeah, that's zeroed, that's zeroed, that's zeroed. That's zeroed. Now let's see if there's actually a button here that will tell me how much there's left in terms of resources. Oh, well, there's 140 there. So I do want to finish finding this area out. Because... Once we leave, we ain't coming back. Resource is 
there is nothing left for us here. Okay, I just think I just heard resources exhausted. And then I heard resource collector complete. Which pretty much by definition makes that an extraneous resource collector right there. Yep. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, tell everybody to stay docked. I'm going to start the docking process on this. Uh, yeah, we should. And now I have the uh, this resource collector here. See, that's how she should work in uh, Space Engineers. Just a quick click, and gone. Beautiful. I have to say, I really didn't appreciate the uh, thought and effort that must have gone into programming the uh, docking maneuvers between ships. When I first played this game, having done a fair amount of a design of space games and games with ships maneuvering around other ships. I think I have a much greater appreciation for it now. Where are you going? Do you know about some minerals out here that I don't? No, no, you just want to park here. For reasons beyond my comprehension. Okay, you know what, I think we're done here. Everybody dock up. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That was 140 minerals there. No, 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 it says right here, 140. Resources downrange. Resources downrange. Nothing but gravel up here. Really? Okay, fine. Coming into dock. Docking underway. Stand down. We're on hold. Oh, God, everybody relaunched when I canceled the uh, hyperspace docking procedure. Okay, and now we're all docked up. I think we're ready to go. Oh, nope, nope, we still got this resourcer and this research ship left. And three ships left. Okay, one of them is falling down the... Okay. It's not until they disappear down there. And this resource controller is my first capital ship, so I think that that is one of the ones that's going to get its own tiny little hyperspace effect when we go. Excellent.